to the, you know, to the rest of the elect. The prophets understand, and they break that things down to the rest of the elect. Esau is going to try to use the word ruddy. He even went as far as changing definitions. Ruddy, in the, in the truest sense, the word ruddy goes back to a word called tawny, which means a light-skinned black man, like myself, right? With a healthy, brownish, reddish color. If you look up ruddy duck, you ain't going to see a duck that look like a white person who's got a, red, a reddish tint. It's going to look like a brown, like this book. If you look up Ruddy Duck, it'll be a, a book, you know, it'll be a brown like this with a little bit more, you know, red overtones to it. That's what the word Ruddy means. And Jake, you should know that. You should know better than that. If you've been following the videos and you know that the Israelites were so-called black people, why does it mess you up when you see an Edomite use Song of Solomon 5 and 10 and try to say King Solomon's white? They just try to do the same thing with King David, right? Hey, I appreciate it. The water. This person said, nice garment, beautiful garment. <clears throat> hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises and all the glory goes to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shor, Yasharala. Double honors to my teachers, my spiritual parents, the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sincere other elders and bishops and brothers and sisters, man. Now I want to land back on this lesson right here that the um, the, <clears throat> the elder Manatazah from South Carolina, uh, he he did a he did a beautiful lesson, and on um, concerning Song of Solomon, and um, you know I want to touch on you know I want to land back on this through the spirit of Yah by Shem Yahushai, because he goes in talking about um. You know, how Esau is using Solomon, Solomon 5 and 10 and trying to say that <clears throat> Solomon was um was white. And also how um they try to use the word ruddy to say that King David was a white man. Now, if like the elder was saying, man, a lot of you men out there, man, y'all not studying. You know, it shows it shows through your lack of un of understanding, man, because a lot of these lessons, you know, they've been brought out. You know, the elders, you know, they made countless videos and lessons on this, man, you know. And if you're very diligent and sincere about this walk, you'll definitely uh, keep your eyes on these lessons. And these are basic breakdowns where, you know, you could come back, you know, these... Um, Christians, you could come back Esau, you know, just 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 misinformation that's being put out there, you know, when it comes to our scriptures, man, you know, and this Bible, man, ultimately, man, at the end of the day, you know, um, it's a poetic book, just like the elders say, it's full of parables, dark sayings, you know, and I wanted to touch on that to break it down, we'll go in a little bit in details you know, into the word ruddy, you know. But you got to understand that first we're going to get this. <clears throat> Let's get the book of Amos in the Old Testament, uh, 3 and 7. And it reads, Surely the Lord Yahweh the Most High would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. You go one chapter before, it says, Amos chapter 2 and verse 11, we understand now through the Spirit that the prophets come from the lineage of Jacob. Let's read it and let's prove it. And I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushua? See, the Lord said it, okay? So the Lord is only going to reveal his secrets to the prophets, okay? The elect are going to understand the secrets of this Bible because it's being revealed to them through our Lord and the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Shai. See, the world's not going to understand our book. This is why there's a lot of confusion. This is why there's a religion for everything. You know, you got these made-up religions. 
made up by these devils, man. And we understand that the devil, let's go to that real quick. Let's go to the book of Psalms, uh, 58 and verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay? So we understand the nature of this devil. See, what the Lord has done for us is very beautiful, man. Yahweh Yahshua, through the Holy Spirit, he has given us secrets and de in perfect details in our Bible, our history, man. And who is Esau? The Lord has uh, 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 drew him out through his characteristics, all right? Drew him out, man. He has given us through his behavior, his ways, all right? And we can see that, and we understand that he is the wicked. Based on Malachi, the first chapter, it says that Esau, Edom, is the wicked. So now we understand that this man... All he knows is to lie, okay? So we understand that he's going to try to uh, create misinformation of our book to fit his narrative, to fit his, and we've seen it. When we read, when we read in the book of Job, let's go to that real quick. Chapter 9, and verse... 24, <clears throat> it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We see, we, we found out, based on Malachi 1 and 4, that the wicked is Esau, Edom. Psalms 58 and 3 said that Esau, Edom speak lies from the time they come out there, come out the womb, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yes. Who are the judges? The Israelites. There's actually a book called the Book of Judges. Yahweh told the disciples that they're going to judge the 12 tribes of Israel. They're going to sit in 12 thrones. Starting with our Lord Yahweh you know, with the authority given by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, he's going to judge. He's going to be our king. King David on down to the 144, judging the tribes of Israel, being the government body. And who are those judges? Israel. What have, what have Esau done is something called iconoclasm. See, Esau, Edom, he has always, this is part, this is part of his devilish uh, 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 narrative agenda is to iconoclasm, whitewash, all the images, and we see that through history, man. You know, you they, there's plenty of books out there, you know. The Russian Icons is one. There's plenty of books out there that proves what this devil has done. And we see that it it actually um, uh, correlate with the scriptures when it talks about what this man is going to do. And the Lord has given us those details about this man. And he's going to speak lies. He's going to change the narrative. He's going to, he's going to uh, whitewash the images. He's going to try to give you misinformation. And one of them is the word ruddy, which does not mean white or being red. Okay? It's like what the, uh, the elder says, the overtone. It means it goes back to the word tawny. Now, the brother... The, um, the elders brung up the word tawny, and I and I and I did a little digging, and I and I did some digging. So when you go into that word tawny, it means tan color. See, from Anglo French tawny, or like brownish yellow tan leather. See, it's a brownish color. All right, modern French. It's a modern color. That's what Tony means. But what I what I come about did a little bit of digging. It goes back to the word Rufus. Okay, when you come back here, Rufus. Okay, properly named, literally red hair. Like for example, Malcolm X, they used to call him Red. You know, but he was a so-called Judah, uh, so-called Negro. He would be. He would be uh, considered tawny, okay? But 
Rufus, Ruddy, Rufus, Tony, okay? Did a little bit of digging. Now, for example, um, Terrence Howard, this man right here, he's an actor. He would be considered Tawny. He would, he would be considered Rufus. He would be considered Ruddy, okay? That's what it would be. Now, check this out. When you go into the, the, the word Rufus, it goes back to, uh, you know, I, I found some interesting things. Rufus Buck Gang. Now, Rufus Buck, they actually made a movie about this. But the Rufus Buck Gang was an outlaw Native American gang whose members were, were Creek, Indian, and African American. Okay? And they made this movie with this brother right here. I think he, he played in The Wire. Um, he got that guy, he got like that British accent, but he played in the wire, he played in a lot of movies, um, this guy right here on the left, but this is the real Rufus Buck right here, but this is to show you, they know, they know, this is, this is what Ruddy is, it goes back to the word Tawny, which goes back to the word Rufus, and this is where they get the color from, and it was an actual man, Rufus Buck, this is him. You know, who is Rufus Buck? Do your information. This is him, okay? And you can't get around this, man. But see, these devils, they change words around. They change a lot of things around and try to, like, you know, trip you up, man. They'll try to trip you up, man. You know? <clears throat> Let me see. Well, I was going to look for something else. Okay, so we understand that that's ruddy, man. And it all goes back. You go back to the word. And I and I found this because I was going back, went up to the uh, etymology, the word ruddy. And, there, you know, it goes into being red. And, you know, it, it, you know, Esau starts with his little BS, redness and related, whatever. But then I came down here and I went into the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, proto-Indo-European root meaning of ruddy, okay, which is the pi root in the Greek word because it tends to avoid beginning words, and some of them, when you read it, is berubin, cor cor corroborate, and I was reading, and I came down here to Rufus, see, and when you go into that word Rufus, you know, <clears throat> it goes into ruddy, you see ruddy, ruddock, Rufus, and they went back into what I found, okay? The Rufus Buck Gang. As you can see, it's a so-called Negro, man. Native Americans, so these are the tribes of Israel, man. This is Tawny. This is Ruddy, man, okay? Now, what I'm interested in doing real quick, let me look up. Uh, let's just, I'm just interested, brothers. Just uh, work with me here. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, uh, let's look up this word, uh, uh, Bill, Bill Rubian, <clears throat> Bill Rubian, okay, let's look that up real quick, Bill Rubian, and I'm going to paste it, alright, let's, let's see what that is, Bill Rubian test, at less, at the yellowish, pigment that is made during the normal breakdown of red blood cells. Okay? Peruvian test. Let's go to images. Okay? Peruvian. Uh, but we get it. We understand. I was just interested in going to that. So going back to the word ruddy, you know, it tells you right there Rufus. Okay? <clears throat> Do red color. Go back to the adjective Rufuius. Rufuius down here. Red is tawny red. And we understand what tawny means now. Okay? So King David or Solomon, they were ruddy. They were Rufus. They were tawny. They had a fair overtone brownish color, man. Come on. So as the elder was going into, man, you know. <clears throat> now, when you go into, uh, I'm going to my notes right here. Going to Samuel, Song of Solomon, you see chapter 5, verse 10, with the, uh, the elder is going into. Um, here with David was ruddy. Now we understand this is, this is an example of a ruddy cow. 
See the color of this cow? See the color of this cow? That's being ruddy. It doesn't show a white cow, does it? This is a ruddy cow. This is a ruddy duck. It has a brownish color to it, man. All right? Now, when you read ruddy in the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, right? You know, in the beginning, it gives you chapters and scriptures, and it goes into right here, blush. But when you come down here, it says ruddy. Listen to this. Is the form taken by the adjective red when used as a term of praise of the human skin. And this is its use in the Bible. The Hebrew and Greek words are all usual words for red or to be red. The dark skin, listen to this. The dark skin Hebrews found great beauty in a clear complexion. This is a super cut, man. Okay? Super cut. To show you that the Hebrews... In the ancient world, for the most part, were melanated, so-called brownish, overtone, ruddy people. They went from a dark brown to a light brown to different complexions, man. All right? We're just beautiful like that. All right? Come on. You, you just can't make this up. But see, when he saw, he's the devil. All right? He's the devil. Like we show you in the scriptures, Psalms 58 and 3. From the moment he's born, he's speaking lies. And that's his job. He's the serpent. Okay, he's that's he has he he is the serpent. He was created to 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 cause havoc and confusion and deceived and be that serpent, man. So that I, I, I that that was powerful. So now, let me see. Okay, down here it goes into um, the editions of Esther. When you read this part right here, it says. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, verse 5 down here, it says, And she was ruddy through the perfection of her beauty. And it tells you in the book of Esther that um, she was so beautiful. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. That she was so beautiful that, um, was it Esther or Judith? It could have been Judith. It could have been Judith. But you know, son, let's use that as an example just to show the beauty of our woman, man. Okay? No, I got it here somewhere. Ju beauty of Judith. Yeah, Judith. Yup. Let's look at that. Judith chapter 10. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful verse 22, 23. All right, let's go to Judith 10 real quick, brothers. We could use that as an example, man, just to show you the beauty, man, the ruddiness of our, our woman. Some of our women were beauty. All our women, they went from a brownish cutter, overtone, tawny, you know, Rufus, uh, uh, ruddy, you know. Uh, they had a fair complexion. You know, they were beautiful, man. You know, that's it was a praise to the skin, you know. And, and you know, uh, certain, that's certain, uh, that beauty, man, these men, man, they look at this woman like, wow, man. Judith 10. Judith goes to Holofernes camp. And this uh goes into the story where um you know she she um she chops off the head of I think she I think this was a Moabite, uh the general or the captain. So um let's go to verse 22 and 23 right here. Uh let me see. And um Judith 10 verse 22. So they show him off so they show him of her and he came out before his tent with silver lamps going before him and with Judas was was come before him and his servants they all marveled at the beauty of her countenance and she fell down upon her face and did reverence unto him and his servants took her up so they all marveled at the beauty of Judas her countenance because she was a very beautiful woman. Our women are beautiful, man. You see our women's now. I mean, for the most part, these women, you know, they got these curses on them. They wicked. They are, you know, you got the, but when it comes to the general sense of our women, they're beautiful. 
and like we said here, let's go back to this. Uh, let's go back to King David being right here. When it goes into saying, "Ruddy is from is is the form taken by the adjective red when used as a term of praise of the human skin." Why did I say the praise of human skin? The countenance is your face. So when certain men seen Judith and they seen the beauty of her skin, her face, you know, the complexion, she must have had a beautiful tone. You know, Esther had a beautiful, ruddy tone. You know, she had a beautiful, ruddy tone of herself, right? So these women, okay, they were... They had that, verse 5, and she was ruddy through the perfection of her beauty. And this was Esther, Judith. These are examples of our woman showing maybe a tawny, uh, a rufous, uh, 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 um, ruddy complexion. It was a praise to, to see, you know, the, the beauty, the, 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 the glow that came off their skin. If you can, if you can see it, you got to vision this, man. You know, when you read the Bible, you got it like our apostles always go into. You have to vision it, man. You have to see it, you know. So I just wanted to add that, man, to the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Shah, man. You know what I'm saying? That the elder, you know, he went into, um, you know. <clears throat> Beautiful garment. He went yeah. into that about the uh, ruddy, you know. So Esau, you a damn devil, man. So I just wanted to add that. A little bit, just laying back on what the elder was saying to the spirit of y'all about Shimei. I saying, you sincere brothers and sisters, if you can see it and understand it, you understand that ruddy does not mean red or white. Okay? All praises to Yahweh about Shimei. I'm shy about Shimei. Shalom.